And hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. Last episode we went ahead and loaded this board ape in here via the Picasso uh, image loading library here. If you missed it, uh, put a card in the top right, go ahead and check it out. It's a pretty quick one. Uh, and previously before that we did Glide as well. So we're kind of covering all of the major image loading libraries inside of Android and we're just going to continue that implementation here. So uh, if we take a look at the previous screen here, we have another button here for the coil image loading activity. This is a newer library and one of my favorites. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dive into that documentation and using that library in this episode here. So very simply, we can kind of copy this uh, button idea, right, where we just find the button itself. thought it was called coil button. Is it not? Um, it is. I don't know what the problem is there. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll run a rebuild project in the background, uh, but basically this will push us to the coil image loading activity, which is again, a very simple activity that just has an image URL defined and then a button and an image view. And as we can see here, this kind of follows the similar pattern that we've been building out here inside of our uh, image loading activities. So I'm just gonna ignore this error for now because it exists in there. I don't know why it doesn't uh, or why it doesn't think it does, but um, we can go ahead and bounce over to, instead of Picasso here, uh, our little coil library. So we're going to say coil Android. Um, yep. And then this is, uh, you know, another website that kind of has this overview of the library without actually uh, needing to dive into the, the GitHub for it. So we can very easily uh, again, kind of copy this implementation line that we need here. So I'm sure we know where this is going, but we got to open our build.gradle file. We're going to put in another comment here for coil. And, you know, as you can see here, this one has the parentheses in here. And I believe that is for the uh, KTS, the build.gradle.kts version. I'm blanking on the name here, but. Uh, Regardless, we just kind of cleaned that up very quickly, and that looks like that is working. So if we bounce back over to our documentation here, we can see, um, you know, a quick start guide here, basically a really simple way to load images. It actually gets a little bit easier <laughs> using coil, which is really convenient. Um, so we are very easily going to do the same thing that we've done previously, where we're going to say button dot set on click listener. And then instead of like coil dot width or get or something like that, we actually can reference the image view itself and we can call load on the image view and pass it um, a whole bunch of information, whether it's a bitmap, a URI, a drawable, uh, a string, or even HTTP URL object here. And, and this is uh, actually making use of, you know, as we see here, command click in these different, uh, this one counts as an inline function, but basically an extension function on the image view class, which is super powerful um, and helpful for readability and the call site, right? This looks really clean, saying image view dot load and passing in an image URL is basically as simple as it could possibly get here. So um, yeah, coil is just kind of a modern way, if you will, to, to loading images. So it's, um, you know, Kotlin focus, Kotlin first, Kotlin friendly, let's say, uh, whereas Glide and Picasso originated in the Java variants of when, you know, Java was the primary language for uh, Android. But anyway, as we go over here to the coil activity and we click load image, we get the same result that we would expect, right? So we've gone through these uh, different implementations here with uh, Glide, Picasso, and then uh, now we've just finished up coil here. Uh, one thing that I did want to kind of point out here is I don't know if you've noticed, but when we go through this again, Glide clicking that button again, or let's say Picasso clicking this button again, uh, it loads instantaneously. Now I know things are loading quite quickly regardless, so I'm gonna actually just restart the app here to maybe make it a little more obvious, but let's pay attention to the speed at which these libraries operate uh, the very first time versus the last time that they operate, or, or the very first time versus every other time. So if I click on it, it happens 
very quickly, uh, but it's not instantaneous. The same thing with Picasso here. It, it clicks and then, you know, half a second later it comes in. And even here with Coil, you click it and then something comes in, right? This is a very minor detail, but what I want to show you is if we pay attention to clicking on these again, it happens instantaneously there with Glide. When we click on it again with Picasso, it happens instantaneously, right? Like the ripple on the button doesn't even complete before the image is loaded in. And the same thing here with Coil. We can actually see that the second time we go ahead and click it, the libraries themselves operate much more efficiently. And this has to do with how these images are being cached and managed under the hood. And all of this stuff is kind of described in uh, the respective libraries documentation, right? The Glide, the Picasso, the Coil documentation goes about and talks about how caching works. And so this is something that I would like to explore in the next video. We can kind of dive a little bit deeper into different ways to actually load in uh, images or the differences between the libraries or maybe some of the debug information that can be provided to us when using these different libraries to kind of get a little bit better sense of what's going on under the hood. And so if you've made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you notice you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more content. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.